Welcome to my channel. This is the Urban Sewing Society where we bring fashion and creativity to your neighborhood. My name is Jen and I am the Urban Sewist. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. Well, today I'm really excited to bring to you another thrift haul, but this time I was traveling and I stopped off at a thrift store and I got a few goodies, but I didn't get as much as I wanted to get because I didn't expect to go thrifting while I was there. I was visiting with friends and I remembered that Angelina had gone to this store maybe a couple months ago, um, Angelina from Blueprint DIY. And I thought, you know, maybe I could stop by and I did. And I only picked up a few items. I'll show those to you in a minute. But I want to take you inside of Gray Market Thrift Store in Houston, Texas. It wasn't, it was like no other thrift experience that I've had. I've never gone anywhere and the clothes are actually piled up on the floor. Uh, they weigh everything. Um, so you buy it by the pound and the different piles of clothing are different prices so the clothes on the floor are like i think 6.99 a pound and then the clothes on the rack are like ten dollars a pound something like that i can't quite remember but i walked in it was really dark on the inside and uh, it was really interesting. So I want to take you inside, let you look around. If you're ever in Houston, Texas, you should definitely check this place out. While I was there, I did check out a few other consignment stores, and I'm going to show you a little sneak peek into those. I didn't have my camera with me. I only had my phone. So the quality isn't that great, but you can truly appreciate some of the things that I ran across. And I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly, but I want you to kind of see what's in Houston to, um, to thrift and to consign. I uh, found out that Houston is one of the like thrift, it's like the thrift capital of the nation. Like who knew? Like I had no idea. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get into it. Let me give you a tour of Gray Market uh, Thrift, and then we're going to look at a couple other consignment stores. All right, let's get to it. to Angelina. I'm here at the Gray Vintage Market and we're going to go in and see how good the finds are. This place is great. Thanks, Angelina. <laughs> so as you can see, the inside of the Gray Market Vintage, uh, they have racks as well as tables full of clothing. It really reminds me of going to like the Goodwill um, outlet where you have all these bins and tables that have nothing but clothes piled on them. So it's a little daunting, a bit overwhelming. You really need to take your time. And like I said, I was on a trip visiting and I hadn't planned for this, so I only picked up a few pieces. But overall, definitely a great place to check out if you're 
in Houston, Gray Market Vintage, and they're open from noon to like 4 or 5 p.m. So here I am with my couple bags. So the next stop is the Guild Shop, and I stopped by there, uh, actually passed this on the way, and um, I thought, you know, let me look in the window. And it looked like it was a lot of housewares and some stuff that I didn't think I'd be interested in, but boy, oh boy, when I got inside, I was blown away. Not only was the store really well organized, um, they had some glass cases in the back corner that had some really, really nice high-end pieces in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like lovely vintage Saint Laurent, vintage um, Prada, Gucci, Hermes, just, yeah. Like this place right here, I'm definitely getting back to it the next time that I come. Um, I looked at some beautiful scarves, some shoes. Uh, again, I just didn't have enough room in my luggage to bring any of this stuff back and I need to stop spending so much anyway. Uh, but I wanted you to see some of the beautiful loafers that they had, leather loafers. Um, I also did quickly look through some of the clothing, some other handbags that weren't designer that I thought were just great. Um, they keep all their handbags in one section together. I thought there were some very unique items there. This one with the cowrie shells on it almost went home with me, but I had to restrain myself for sure, as you can see. Um, so the next place I went to, and I didn't take a picture of the front of the store, it's called Little Bird. Um, and this is a high-end consignment store, and I'm gonna tell you a lot of what I saw in there was absolutely lovely um, very well organized again and um, I was very pleased with some of what I saw there uh, they had beautiful shoes beautiful handbags uh, really nice dresses um, I didn't spend a lot of time in this store but it's definitely somewhere I would highly recommend. Um, I'm hoping that my store, my consignment store here that uh, in Chicago that's closing ends up kind of reorganizing similar to the way this store is laid out because it really gives you a really nice boutique feel. Um, but these boots right here I thought were just so, so cute. They were white leather. Um, I believe these were Prada boots and the woman was telling me that the person who um, brought them had only worn them one time. Uh, well, I guess so. If you're living in Houston, you have really no reason to wear any boots um, too much. I don't think it gets too cold there. But anyway, just looking through some of the dresses uh, and just wanted to show you this store. So the next stop was this store called Pavement. And I thought um, it looked really nice on the outside. I love the colors. So I'm sure at night that sign is lit up. They're doing some work on the front side of the store, but um, doesn't take away from all the goodies that are inside. Of course, we're down here in Houston and you got tons of cowboy boots. Um, I'm not in the market. I actually did thrift two pairs of cowboy boots when I was in Nashville a couple years ago but um, they did have some really nice cowboy boots. They had plenty of overalls, um, some camo pieces, a few handbags. And I did notice uh, in particular at this store, it looks like they may get some overstock from some other retailers because I saw duplicate pairs of boots, blouses, and some skirts. In fact, when I went over to the shoe section, I noticed there were a lot of duplicate uh, shoes from the same brand. So maybe there was a store that closed. In particular, I saw these mules, uh, these rattan mules that I tried on and I really liked them. They were really comfortable. Um, they were only $20. I Googled them because I'm like, if I can get them at the store for $20, no sense in me buying them here. But when I Googled them, on the high end, they were $120. On the low end, they were $65. So I thought $20 was a good buy. Uh, I thought they had a nice um, selection, decent selection of summer sandals. In fact, they had those shoes in a lot of different other styles. 
So left there with just that pair of shoes and went over to Out of the Closet. You guys know I've been to Out of the Closet a couple times when I'm on the West Coast visiting my family. And I really do like Out of the Closet. I feel like they um, get some really nice items and they curate their, um, their items pretty well. They also um, support um, research for uh, HIV, and so a lot of the donations go towards helping that community. So I think that's great as well. So anyway, I um, went through here. They had not a great selection of shoes, like the one in L.A. had an amazing selection of shoes. So this one, not so much. Um, you know, a lot of platform, which we're really not wearing right now. But hold on to those platform shoes because, you know, everything old is new again. Uh, a few handbags and some belts on display up, up near the front. Again, the store was well organized. Uh, shirts all together, pants all together, jeans together. I did take a look at some of their heavier coats since I know folks in Houston aren't wearing down jackets and wool jackets. So if you're in the market, you're out and about, it's a good idea to travel to some of these warmer climates and look for your fall clothing because you can probably get it on the cheap. The next store I traveled to was the Leopard Lounge. And again, look at the outside of this store and these leopard spots. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Anyway, uh, they had a lot of good vintage pieces in here. You name it, a vintage clothing, vintage accessories, uh, laid out very nice, uh, vintage tees, which I'm not really into. I'm not a vintage t-shirt person, but if you are, this is a great place to go. I actually saw a pair of shoes that I had like 20 years ago here. So definitely a lot of vintage. Um, this vintage dress that I saw, this green and white vintage dress really stood out to me. It was so cute. I wish I would have picked it up. But again, I just did not have enough room in my suitcase. So the next time I go back and I do my run to some of these vintage stores, I want to make sure I bring an extra suitcase just so that I can bring some things back. You'll notice here they also had some furs. Yeah, again, this is, um, you know, I would have to take some time to look at them because, you know, furs will dry rot over time because those are actual skins and they need to be maintained. So always be careful thrifting furs. Um, it's a good selection of shoes, clothes. Definitely check this location out. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. And if you ever travel to Houston, Texas, definitely stop by some of these places. I'm listing them below along with um, their website so you can check them out. Some of them have an online present, some don't, but definitely check them out. All right, so let's see what I picked up while I was there. So one of the things I picked up, I saw it, I was like, oh, these look really cute. And then I looked at the label and I kind of felt ashamed for buying them, but at the end of the day, keeping it out of the landfill. And I think I might be able to do something with these. And at the very least, I could duplicate them because they are super, super cute. Look at these jeans. These are three-tone jeans. They've got brown, white, and beige. Um, they are totally uh, distressed, but they're patchwork. So you guys know how I feel about patchwork. I love me some patchwork. And I love this um, fraying here. And I just thought these were a really cute pair of jeans. Um, they are by... These are the fast fashion ones. Yeah. So they're by Shein, but again, you know, um, I looked at the label, it's 85% cotton, 15% polyester. Um, I just thought they were a cute pair. I like the way they put the patchwork together. I'd like to try this with a couple pairs of jeans. So at the very least, I can take this apart, put it back together, create another pattern from it, cut this up make it a skirt. There's a lot of things that I could do to upcycle this. Um, the next thing that I picked out 
are these Levi Strauss 501 jeans. Now, it's rare that I find a pair of 501 jeans and even more rare when I find a pair of 501 jeans that have never been worn. I have not tried these on yet. I think I might try this stuff on for you guys. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these yet. I don't know if I'm going to sell them, if I'm going to keep them. I do love Levi's jeans, and I love jeans. So, you know, I didn't want to get too many pairs of jeans because jeans weigh down your luggage. I already brought too much stuff for a three-day weekend. So on top of that, to have two pairs of jeans in my luggage, it was just like, okay, Jen, what are you doing? I found this great vintage dress. And the only tag that's in it says 100% wool. I can barely see the size of it. There are no other, oh, nope. There are no other tags in there. But this vintage dress, I thought, was just really, really cute. It's a mini dress, no sleeves. It's got detail around the neckline here, a covered zipper. It's got darts in the dress. I just thought it was really nice. thought it was a very good quality, so I didn't want to pass up the vintage. All right, so for my last item, and I could have sworn I got one more piece, but I guess I only bought four pieces. I, I really did a good job because normally I get inside these thrift stores and I go crazy, but this time I took it easy. All right, so the last piece is this beautiful orange dress. And this is by Nightcap um, for, oh, I can't even see the rest of the name. I'll show you the the tag yeah but this is a beautiful long um, orange dress with a v-neck the camera does not do it justice i thought this was a great dress as well i thought um, i might resell it um, or i might wear it or i don't know you know i might cut it up and create something else from it. But I thought it was really nice. Um, the bottom part, you can actually see through the lace, but the top has a lining on the inside. So those are my four pieces. That's my uh, little mini haul from Gray Market Vintage in Houston, Texas. Um, I didn't buy anything at the consignment stores, although I did see several pairs of shoes that interest me. I saw a couple of bags. So you guys don't know, and I'll talk about this maybe in a later video, but I am not paying full price for any luxury items. Like I'm not going to do that. Um, not only am I not doing it during my year of not buying any new clothes, but just for me, I that's just not something that I want to do. So um, I am looking for a few handbags that I have been coveting for a while. And one of them is the YSL bag. It's pretty popular. Uh, but one of the stores that I went in had the YSL bag with the black YSL on the front. And I thought that was just so chic. Uh, so that's one. Uh, bag that's on my list. The other bag that's on my list is the um, Louis Vuitton. Um, oh gosh, now I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put the name down here. But this is the bag that I really want and I've been looking for. So I've been on the Real Real, I've been on Rebag. Um, I'm looking at all of the uh, consignment stores. Um, one of the consignment stores that you guys saw me go into several weeks ago, McShane's Exchange, they are moving. And so they said everything must go. So next weekend, I will be going into McShane's Exchange just to see what they have left. I don't think they'll have either one of these bags, but it's possible that they may eventually get one. So I'm following them on Instagram and I'm trying to, one of these bags, I really want to score before the end of the year. And 
They're both pretty expensive bags and I feel like if I can get 20 or 30 or 40% off, that would be worth it for me. Um, there's also a, a pair of shoes that I want to get from Hermes um, and I... I sat on them for too long on the real real and somebody snatched them up but I am on the wait list and I set up uh, my favorites so that they will push those uh, shoes to me if they ever come in stock so I hope to bring to you a luxury haul before the end of the year because there are several items that I really really want and Again, not trying to pay, pay pay full price for any of those items. All right, so that's what I've got for you today. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you'll be back next week. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.